It is a well-known fact that cigarette smoking is harmful for human health. It causes many types of diseases. Secondhand smoke is equally dangerous and can cause death and disease in non-smokers. Smoking kills 5.4 million people every year globally. This is one death every 6 seconds. This is why cigarette companies must keep trapping new and young customers to replace the older ones. Sadly in Pakistan over 1200 children under the age of 18 begin smoking every day. Smoking kills 100,000 persons every year in this country. This is equal to 274 deaths every single day. Approximately 5000 persons are admitted to hospitals every day because of illnesses caused by the use of tobacco. Cigarette smoke contains 4000 poisonous chemicals out of which 60 have been proven to cause cancer. Cigarette smoke contains arsenic which is a poison used to manufacture rat poison. It contains hydrogen cyanide which is used in the manufacture of chemical weapons. Cigarette smoke has lead which slows the mental development of children and affects their academic performance. The use of cigarette causes cancer of the mouth, throat, lungs. It causes heart disease, strokes, paralysis and blindness. Smoking also becomes the cause for tuberculosis. Women smokers give birth to babies that are weak and have low birth weight. The risk of miscarriage is also higher among women who smoke. Smoking causes wrinkles to appear on the face and causes early aging. Cigarette smoke restricts blood vessels leading to impotence in men. Smoking inside cars even when the windows are down makes the air dangerously unhealthy. Shisha is not a safe alternative to cigarette smoking. Different fruit flavors are usually mixed in the tobacco so that young people do not consider it harmful. In fact, this tobacco is as harmful as the tobacco used in cigarettes. According to the World Health Organization, by smoking shisha for 1 hour, the quantity of smoke inhaled by the smoker is equal to the quantity of smoke inhaled by smoking between 100 to 200 cigarettes. A very important fact to remember is that smoking is harmful not just for the person who smokes. Secondhand smoke is the smoke that is produced by smokers but is inhaled by the non-smokers around them. According to the World Health Organization, secondhand smoke is just as harmful as smoking itself. All over the world, every year 600,000 persons die of diseases caused by secondhand smoke. Therefore smoking is an issue that deals not just with smokers more importantly it affects the lives and health of people who share their lives with smokers as office colleagues family members and friends spending 2 hours in a smoke filled office is equal to smoking 4 cigarettes spending 2 hours in the smoking section of a restaurant is equal to smoking 2 cigarettes Living 24 hours with a person who smokes one pack a day is equal to smoking 3 cigarettes. In non-smokers, secondhand smoke increases the risk of lung cancer by 30%. Being married to a smoker increases your risk of getting heart disease by 25%. Smoking is not just suicide it is also murder you as an individual can prevent all this death and disease become an agent of change and save lives but in order to do this you must first understand the laws that relate to tobacco control prohibition of smoking and protection of non smokers health ordinance 2002 is a law whose provisions must be well understood Section 5 of this law declares that all indoor places used by the public are non-smoking areas. For example, it is forbidden to smoke in cinemas, hospitals and clinics, restaurants and cafeterias, hotel lounges, 
government offices, offices of private companies, shops and supermarkets, court buildings, conference halls, bus stations, educational institutions, etc. SRO 51 of 2009 has declared special smoking areas in restaurants, waiting lounges, offices, etc. as illegal. Allowing smoking inside restaurants, hotels and offices is a crime punishable with fine and imprisonment. Remember that opening windows or using exhaust fans cannot make the air free of poisonous chemicals. The only solution is 100% smoke-free indoor air. Anyone who violates Section 5 can be fined up to Rs 1000 for the first violation. In case of breaking the law again, the fine can be up to Rs 100,000. Rupees. Section 6 of the Prohibition of Smoking and Protection of Non-Smokers Health Ordinance 2002 states that smoking in public transport vehicles like buses, wagons, trains and airplanes is illegal and a crime punishable with a fine. Anyone who violates Section 6 is to be fined up to Rs 1000 for the first violation. In case of breaking the law again, the fine can be up to Rs 100,000. Rupees. Section 7 of the Ordinance prescribes the rules relating to advertising and promotion of cigarettes by cigarette companies. Any violation of this law must be reported to the concerned authorities, which include a sub-inspector or a police officer of higher rank who will proceed against the company that has violated the law. According to this section, no tobacco advertisement is to be shown in cinemas and theatres where persons under the age of 18 are allowed. Tobacco products are not to be advertised inside or within 50 meters of educational institutions, inside buses, in sports centers, in books and magazines read by children. Tobacco products are not to be presented as prizes or gifts in television or radio contests. No advertisement of smoking is allowed on any media through the public display of the brand of tobacco products. Children should not be addressed in any tobacco advertisement. Distribution of free tobacco products at public gatherings is illegal. Also, distribution of free cigarettes to children is against the law. Films and posters of tobacco products are not allowed to show sports personalities, young artists, historical personalities and members of the learned professions. Persons under the age of 40 are not to be used as models in advertisements of tobacco products. Billboards of a size of more than 1 meter square are illegal. The size of signboards or neon signs placed on shops selling tobacco products should not be more than one square foot. Tobacco advertisements in newspapers and magazines are not to be larger than one square inch. It is mandatory to have a health warning printed on all tobacco advertisements. Advertisements of tobacco products on electronic media can only be shown between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. According to SRO 53, free goods, free samples, Discounts or goods below the market value intended to generate sales and promote tobacco use are strictly prohibited. Anyone who violates these rules will be punished with a fine up to 5,000 rupees. In case of a subsequent violation, the fine will be more than rupees 100,000 and this can be accompanied with imprisonment up to 3 months. Section 8 of the ordinance prohibits the sales of all tobacco products to children under the age of 18 years. This also includes serving shisha or any other tobacco product to those who are not yet 18 years of age. This section of law is very important because 80% of adults who smoke started smoking before they turned 18 years of age. Shopkeepers should display a sign saying that they do not sell tobacco products to persons under 18 years of age. If shopkeepers are in doubt about the age of the customer, they should ask the customer to show their national identity card. Anyone who violates Section 8 will be punished with a fine up to 5,000 rupees. In case of a subsequent violation, the fine will be more than 100,000 rupees and this can be accompanied with imprisonment up to 3 months. According to Section 9 of the Ordinance, tobacco products can neither be kept or sold inside educational institutions that is, at cafeterias, canteens or stores. Sale or distribution of tobacco products within a distance of 50 meters of any educational institution is also prohibited. Anyone who violates Section 9 will be punished with a fine of up to 5,000 rupees. 
In case of a subsequent violation, the fine will be more than 100,000 rupees and this can be accompanied with imprisonment up to 3 months. According to section 10, all owners, managers, supervisors of places used and visited by the public must ensure that a sign saying smoking here is an offence or no smoking zone is displayed at a prominent place. It has been made mandatory to display no smoking signs in public transport vehicles. Anyone who violates section 10 will be fined up to rupees 1000 for the first violation. In case of breaking the law again, the fine can be up to 100000 rupees. Section 12 of the ordinance declares certain categories of citizens as authorized persons. These authorized persons need not necessarily be government servants or members of law enforcement agencies. Under section 12, authorized persons are allowed to eject persons who violate the law from the premises. Under section 13, authorized persons can also file a complaint in writing before a first class magistrate in case they witness violation of section 5 which deals with smoking in public places or the violation of section 6 which deals with smoking in public transport vehicles or section 10 which deals with the display of no smoking signs at public places in case of violations of section 7 section 8 and section 9 a sub inspector of police or an officer of a higher rank can file a report at a local police station these three sections of the ordinance deal with more serious violations of the law and therefore the responsibility to deal with them has been left with police officers of the rank of sub inspectors or above Authorized persons are of various types members of national assembly senators members of the provincial assemblies are authorized to eject persons or file a complaint in writing in case of violations of sections 5 6 and 10 district nazims tehsil nazims union council nazims and councillors are also authorized persons with regard to sections 5 6 and 10 all officers of bps 20 and above are authorized to act under sections 5 6 and 10 with respect to their own establishments heads of educational institutions whether government or private schools colleges and universities can act as authorized persons with respect to sections 5 9 and 10 heads of healthcare institutions managers of restaurants cinemas supermarkets shops and managers of all establishments where services are provided to the public are authorized to act under sections 5 and section 10 bus drivers wagon drivers conductors railway drivers and guards and airplane crew can act under section 6 these authorized persons can eject violators under section 12 and file a complaint in writing under section 13 police officers of the rank of sub inspector and above can act under all the sections of the prohibition of smoking and protection of non smokers health ordinance 2002 remember if you are an authorized person then you must take your legal responsibility seriously and play your part in the fight against smoking in order to do so you must have good knowledge of the relevant laws and legal procedures If you are a citizen who is not an authorized person then you must still have knowledge about the law and you know who are the authorized persons in your schools restaurants offices cinemas and waiting lounges public transport vehicles complain to these authorized persons and ask them to perform the role that the law expects them to perform Pakistan is the 23rd country in the world to introduce pictorial health warnings on cigarette packs According to section 4 of the cigarette printing of warning ordinance all cigarette packs being sold in Pakistan must carry the pictorial health warning approved by the Ministry of Health Government of Pakistan cigarette manufacturers and those who sell cigarettes must remember that if their cigarette packs do not carry the prescribed pictorial health warning then according to section 4 they can be punished with a fine of up to 10000 rupees or imprisonment for 2 years or both laws for prevention of tobacco use are present in pakistan public places and public transport have been declared smoke free pictorial health warnings have been introduced on cigarette packs every citizen in their own capacity should ensure the effective implementation of these laws no one has the right to pollute the air that you breathe protect your right to breathe air that is free of smoke 
Do not suffer in silence. The law is on your side. Save lives and live a healthy life.